Hey, how's it going, guys? Hope you're having a great day, as always. This is a commentary I'm bringing to you guys on Sunday, June 23rd, 2013. Not a particularly important day, I guess, for me, but I just thought I'd let you know that's when it's coming out, in case you don't know. And that's pretty obvious. That's not that's not really what this commentary is about. <laughs> Probably thinking I'm an idiot for saying that, but what I really want to talk about is, hey, I'm using a new weapon. I'm using a new weapon. Let's just get that out there. I'm using the Scar H. Now, and also, real quick, apologize. I'm going to apologize ahead of time for the the skips in the gameplay. I don't know why, but I just recorded it. And when I recorded it, there were just some skips in the gameplay. And unfortunately, I don't know why that happened. It doesn't happen too often with the, uh, the capture card that I'm using. But unfortunately, it happened uh, for this gameplay. So, that's just something we got to deal with, unfortunately. And I'll, I'll hopefully have, you know, these matters fixed. There's nothing that really I did wrong, I don't think. So, anyway, let's get into the gameplay. I'm using the Scar H. Now, if you didn't know, guys, the Scar H is actually a pretty solid weapon. It's, I think it takes generally three to four kill, uh, bullets to kill somebody. Obviously, it depends on the range. I think from short to medium distance, it's about three to four bullets. Its rate of fire is decent. I think um, it's definitely not a high rate of fire compared to some of the other weapons such as the type 25 but it's a solid weapon and you know there's something to be said about a, a weapon that you know doesn't shoot out all of its ammo in the first couple of seconds I mean for example the the vector is a really fast shooting weapon but you can easily just or the scorpion rather would be a, a, even a better example you, you shoot out all your ammo and you're basically done within a split second and with this one it, you know it's it's slow and steady that's that's really my opinion of the Scar H is a slow and steady. That's what you have, how you have to play it, and how the the keys to being good with this weapon are just being slow and steady and taking your shots, and knowing that you know you, you got to control the recoil yourself. And here I actually call, I accidentally call in my load star. I got a little bit too too happy and called it in at a bad time, and that's and it skips again. The video skips again, but it's unfortunately. The reason for my death there was um, calling in that lodestar, and I, it got me off my swarm. So I could have had a swarm if I was a little bit more patient and called it in at a safer spot, which is generally what you want to do because it's a, it's a really bad idea to just call it in in the middle of nowhere, which is or you know r right out in the open, which is where I did. So um, so yeah. A anyway, back onto the Scar H. The reason I would say not to put on the the grip on this weapon is because I think it's a waste of attachment. I don't really put grip. Honestly, I don't have grip on any of my weapons. The reason for that is because I think there are so many other attachments that are actually useful, such as stock, which is what I use on this, and I also use quick draw. Now, quick draw is is really good for like when I'm rushing around, you know. Like what I'm doing right now, quick draw is going to be helping me a lot because I don't have a lot of time to react. Or, you, you know, the the quicker I can react, I guess the best way to put it is the quicker the quicker I can react, the better because... And that's pretty obvious, I know, but when you're rushing around, it means a lot more because had I been camping this game, and you know, had I already had my, my sights aimed down for pretty much all my kills, then quick draw really wouldn't be important because the the time it takes from hip fire to to aim down sight is not going to be relevant for me if I'm just always aiming down sight and always pre-aiming whatever I'm shooting at and what if you don't know what pre-aiming is it's for example you have your aim down sight like as I am like I just did when I was shooting that guy but say I had a UAV up and I just knew he was coming around the corner then that's pre-aiming essentially because you're waiting for the the person to come around the corner or or wherever you're waiting for for them to come out and you're already aimed on sight that's that's basically what that is and it's a tactic that's very good and also you can pre-fire which is um when basically when you're pre-aiming shoot some bullets because you know they're going to come around the corner like you're pretty much like i you you probably see have seen me do that a few times in some of my videos. I know the the rage video that I had out the other day, uh, yesterday actually, included me pre pre firing and pre aiming and, and then pre firing. So, just for definitely a good tactic, guys. You guys need to implement that into your game if you want to get these high scores 
Not that this was a particularly high score. I, it was very disappointing. Look at there. I got 34 kills the first round. Pretty disappointing. I think overall, the reason for the the lack of kills that round was getting hit off my swarm. And I, I did get hit off my VSAT or my, or my um, dogs or something like that. The first set of score streaks. So that was pretty disappointing. It's, it's one of those games that, you know, it didn't go perfectly this game, but... It went okay. There are some things like uh, I can do for improvement. But look at this route that I took. Check out this route. This is going to help you out a lot. Because I just picked up a three-piece there with the scar. You know, most a gun most people don't really consider to be viable, at least in my opinion. I mean, certainly you're not going to be seeing this in, in MLG professional scrimmages or anything. I, I highly doubt it. But for public matches, yeah, I think it's a solid weapon. But see, like there, when somebody's really far away, you, you're going to have to burst it. And that's, that's uh, I mean, at least in my opinion, you're, you're going to have to. Or at least unless you're really, really comfortable with the weapon. And there it skips again. Sorry about that. I really apologize for that. <laughs> so, oh, and again, thanks for for all the new subscribers that, that have uh, subscribed lately. It's really awesome to know that all these people are enjoying the content and I'm just hoping to bring out the best content that I can so I took this from a subscriber the suggestion to use a different weapon and I believe the subscriber said he wanted the scar H uh, if I if I can I'll put up the um, the the what is it the basically the screenshot of his comment if I can do if I can figure out how to do that which I should probably start doing that so I'm, I'm always trying to improve the channel like by using different editing software etc etc by recording live because I know you guys really I at least I enjoy it so I know you guys probably enjoy it too the live recording and I'm gonna have a lot more stuff like that I'm probably gonna I'm gonna be doing the face cam soon as well I'm working on a on a PC build and a buddy of mine is gonna help me build it and that's going to really, really make the channel a lot better because I'm going to have so many tools at my disposal that are just going to improve everything about what I do on this channel. And then I'm also going to be doing a lot of live streaming. So I hope you guys enjoy live streaming because I do. Live streaming is going to be awesome. I'm going to have just like a ton of interaction with all you guys that uh, are subscribed. And then I'll, I'll, I'll leave that link once I get it, you know, once I start actually doing live streams, because right now I'm not really doing them, because I don't have a face cam and I don't want to do live streams without a face cam. Uh, I mean, I do have a webcam and, and whatnot, but I just don't have the capabilities to do that with my current setup. It's just not feasible right now. So, anyway, here guys, I'm going pretty ham. I, you you got to use this this trailer to your advantage if you're in it. Look out the windows a lot. Look at that, or, or at that that window. There's only one window in the trailer. There's, there's, I guess, the two doors of the trailer, and then there's the window. Look out the window a lot because it's a great line of sight. Even though there's that thing that that comes uh, in front of it, you got You got to just go around it and, you know, use it to your advantage. Is what I'm trying to get at. It's a, it's a little of a tip for this map, which is uh, one of my f becoming one of my favorite maps, and I think. I can definitely get 100 plus on this map. I'm actually running with one other person for this, who's who's just playing. He's not playing a, a support or anything. He's just playing with me. So, it's it's definitely helpful to have at least one other person to, especially to talk to, because playing this game by yourself can be pretty boring. Just not talking to anybody. And here I'm just going absolutely ham. That's pretty much it. Got that V set. Definitely gonna call in uh, the low star as soon as I get it, because if you look at the time, there's only a minute, a little over a minute left. So I mean, I, at this point, I'm just like trying to get as many kills as I can. I don't, I don't care how I, how I gotta get them, but <laughs> I uh, call in this low star here. And right now, basically, the objective is just to get as many kills as possible, obviously, in the low star, so I can then call in the swarm and see if I can. I don't know. I, I was thinking at this point it's not really possible for the 100 plus just cuz just cuz of how bad I, I messed up in the first half. But at the same time I'm trying to salvage the gameplay and that's kind of what I did here in this last minute and a half. And you're going to you're going to notice every it seems like every time I call in a swarm people leave. People on the other team leave. That's just how it is. It's so frustrating. It's really really frustrating because when your swarm is up and like I just called it in, right? And um, since the guy's leaving, 
this period of time, you know, like the match begins and all that stuff, that's draining on my score streak. And it's messing up my score streak because you can, um, basically, it, it, it's taking time that the score streak is up in the air. That's doing one thing. But I think it also was, like, messing up my score streak. Like, it's confusing my swarm because it's like the swarms are going down on the people, but they're not getting any kills because they're in the match begins stage and then it just screws it up for the rest of it I I was like just yelling at my swarm like come on man get some kills like I don't know why all these people are out in the open and my swarms not doing anything about it but anyway guys gameplay just wrapped up I got 77 kills there I believe let's see one more time 77 kills so if you guys did enjoy the gameplay please leave a like rating and subscribe if you haven't already. My Twitter link is down in the description. And I hope to see you guys soon. Peace.